Christian. The Amma or Khala to marry Allah. Why don't you marry your Amma? Huh? Yes. Your puppy, father's father's sister? Yes. Or your mother's sister? And what else? Only these two he mentioned. <laughs> This question I I think is again related to Hikma. You see, it's unbelievable that anybody should think of marrying one's father's sister or mother's sister. So, let me repeat it again, please. For God's sake, use your Hikma. And uh, how can you permit yourself to do it? It's impossible. But there are other problems as well. If you marry your father, sister, Nauz Billah Mizali, then there are related problems, so many related problems about your children, etc., which I cannot count. But one should understand it, that these are natural cases of psychological repulsion. No man in full control of his mind would ever think of marrying his father's sister even after the death of one's wife or uh, auntie's sister. So it's just without hikmah. Please. And if he's not still satisfied, then I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Again, there is a very long list of uh, those relatives which you cannot marry in the Holy Quran. And if you study that list of relatives, there is no need of any other hadith. It's very clear that you should not marry this and that and that and that. So I don't know why he doesn't study that verse of the Holy Quran. Can number help, sir? Surah Nisa, it is somewhere. Surah Nisa, I'll, I'll get you the exact number. That is verse number 24 from Surah Nisa. It, Should I read it? He can read it. Yes. And it's not the verse. Huh? Part of the translation. I In this back. verse, yes. Amma is not mentioned. Is you know what you mean? No, no the, he, part of the translation he missed, the, the psychological repulsion of the... Achha, that's right. Yes. Yes. Quite right. So this is the give him the verse the, number. Verse number 24. He can Surah concentrate Nisa. on it. And then he'll realize how the Holy Quran is sensitive to some marriages.